What is your favorite word? Giallo, Italian for yellow. And your favorite phrase? This can only happen once, for the first time once. Your favorite story? My favorite story. The story of a simple man that grew up loving nature, that found understanding in other, more troubled people, that wrote his soul onto paper. The story of Tomas Tronstromer. <laughs> I stand in the woods and look towards my house with its misty blue walls, as though I were recently dead and saw the house from a new angle. It has stood for more than 80 summers. Its timber has been impregnated, four times with joy and three times with sorrow. When someone who has lived in the house dies, it is repainted. The dead person paints it himself, without a brush, from the inside. On the other side is open terrain, formerly a garden, now wilderness. A still surf of weed, pagodas of weed, an unfurling body of text, a panda shades of weed, a viking fleet of weed, dragon heads, lances, an empire of weed. Above the overgrown garden flutters the shadow of a boomerang, thrown again and again. It is related to someone who lived in the house long before my time. Almost a child, an impulse issues from him, a thought of will. Create. Draw in order to escape his destiny in time. The house resembles a child's drawing, a deputizing childishness which grew forth because someone prematurely renounced the charge of being a child. Open the doors, enter. Inside, unrest dwells in the ceiling, and peace in the walls. Above the bed there hangs an amateur painting representing a ship with seventeen sails, rough sea, and a wind which the gilded frame cannot subdue. It is always so early here. It is before the crossroads, before the irrevocable choices. I am grateful for this life, and yet I miss the alternatives. All sketches wish to be real. A, mor a motor far out on the water extends the horizon of the summer night. Both joy and sorrow swell in the magnifying glass of the dew. We do not actually know it, but we sense it. Our life has a sister vessel which flies an entirely different route while the sun burns behind the island. John Stromer grew up vacationing on the island every summer. It inspired many of his poems. Monica, his wife, says it is the place where he really feels at home. He collected bugs, leading to Tomas studying entomology. His collections were displayed at Swedish Natural History Museums. There's also a species of beetle named after him, discovered by Michael Sorensen. Maybe what makes a poet makes a psychologist, rather than the other way around, you know? Dealing with that which is fleeting, but at the same time completely real. Tronstromer worked with troubled juveniles as a psychologist in the 1960s at Roxtuna. The facility was open from 1955 to 2007, but its use as a youth prison ended in 1979. Ron Stromer published his first book in 1954. Interviewers clamored to speak with him after the release. A great slow wind from the library of the sea. I can find rest here. Monica and Tomas married in 1958 with two daughters following shortly after. Since his stroke in 1990, they have switched roles, now Monica entertains and he observes. Monica also helps with the writing process and speaks for him for interviews and company. In all marriages, including a relationship with artists, the individuals need privacy and for that they need to trust each other. Tronstromer learned to play with only his left hand. Music led him out of the darkness that descended on him after his stroke. Throughout his career, Tomas Tronstromer has published over 13 books and won eight awards and recognitions, both national and international. He is truly successful from doing what he loves, and that is why his story is my favorite.